Hello, I'm Pastor Nate Siles, Director of TELL. Welcome to the first course in the TELL Self-Study video series. In this course, you'll learn about spiritual healing. What does it mean to heal your spirit? When you hurt, you want relief. Pain isn't just physical. Emotional hurts need healing too. Our world is filled with people who are suffering from anxiety, depression, and many other emotional hurts. There's help. Are quick fixes available? Yes. But for lasting emotional health, you need to learn the causes of your pain. The Spiritual Healing Course will teach you the truth about why you feel the way you do. In Lesson 1, we'll learn that broken relationships will cause an imbalance in your life. The most important relationship of all? Your relationship with God. Let's start learning. Welcome to the Spiritual Healing 9-Lesson Course. Before each lesson, you will read a story directly from the Bible. Then you will watch a short video for more understanding. Next, you will answer a few questions about the lesson and check your answers. By the end of this course, you will know 9 Bible lessons and at the same time, you will begin learning the TELL method. We hope to encourage you to lead family, friends and people you meet to join our Bible study. You will be blessed and be a blessing to others seeking peace. The TELL method is a teaching style with the goal of telling others what you've learned. The letters T-E-L-L -L, represent four sections of study. T for think, E for evaluate, L for learn and L for lead. Each lesson begins with think a powerful introduction that gets you thinking about an interesting topic or question. Evaluate brings more meaning and context to the lesson. Learn identifies the problem, sin, and the solution, Jesus. Finally, the goal of all the TELL courses is to lead a group of your brothers and sisters in Christ from around the world to study God's Word. Our teacher uses the TELL method to explain the lesson, beginning with T for think. Is your life full of challenges and struggles? How do you feel when you see people around you who seem to have everything under control? People may appear healthy on the outside, but many are unhealthy on the inside, hoping for peace, just like you. Everyone's lives can become out of balance with things like worry, stress, anxiety, or depression. What do you think is the cause of this? Questions like these can really get you thinking. How do you fix a broken life? A life that is out of balance? Our teacher uses the TELL method to evaluate the causes for a life out of balance. Every kind of unhappiness comes from a broken relationship. An unhealthy relationship with God, with ourselves or with others. One or all of these broken relationships will cause an imbalance in your life. The good news is that when these relationships are healed, the result will be changes for the better. Spiritual healing means healing can happen with God's help when we understand and apply biblical truths. Let's begin with the most important relationship of all, your relationship with God. If you're going to have a good relationship with God, there are three problems to deal with. One, ignorance about God. Two, the wrath of God against sinners like us. And three, sinful pride that is a part of human nature. You may think you have a good relationship with God, and that may be true, but that's not true for most people. In a recent survey, 48% of people interviewed say their greatest fear is death. Of those people, the majority say they believe in God. So many people are afraid to face God when they die because of ignorance of God. That ignorance causes fear. God is just. That means using laws to fairly judge or punish crimes. This part of God's personality is most certainly true. In the book of John, 
the teachers of the law and the Pharisees brought in a woman caught in adultery. They made her stand before the group and said to Jesus, Teacher, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. In the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. Now what do you say? Because God is a just God, He hates sin and those who commit sin. He demands that we never sin and clearly says He will punish all sinners. God will do as He says. Every time you do what you want and don't do what God wants, you sin. It's impossible to be sinless, to live without sin. Scripture says, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. People may see you as a good person, but God doesn't. He knows your thoughts, your words and your actions. Your sin-filled life deserves the wrath of God. The Bible says, The devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night, forever and ever. Our sinful pride may lead us to deny that hell exists, because we hope it doesn't, but wishing it away won't change the truth of God's word. Maybe you keep distance between yourself and a just God because of fear, or maybe you're disgusted with a just God who punishes people for their sins, even though God knows it's humanly impossible to live without sin. If you're confused because you've been told that you should love God, but you realize you aren't able to, or you try to do good things to appease God's anger and judgment, then you only know one side of God. But there's another side of God that offers hope. In the book of John, Jesus responds to the Jewish leaders who were questioning him, saying, Let any one of you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Jesus then asked, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? No one, sir, she said. Then neither do I condemn you, Jesus declared. Go now and leave your life of sin. The people and the woman were expecting punishment, but Jesus announced forgiveness. Scripture says that we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. In His love, God doesn't want to punish you in hell for all eternity. But God's justice does demand punishment. God also knows people cannot save themselves by doing good things. God resolves this conflict by providing a substitute to take our punishment for us. Our substitute is Jesus. The Bible says, We have seen and testify that the Father has sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them, and they in God. To learn the lesson fully, our teacher identifies the problem, sin, and solution, Jesus. The main theme of the lesson is God loves you so much that He sent His Son to die for you so you can have eternal life in heaven, not in the very real place of hell. We fail daily. We now know it is impossible to live without sin. Jesus lived a perfect life, a life with no sin in our place, the life that God demands from us. God's love is shown to us through Jesus, who suffered all the pain and agony of hell that we deserve and died on the cross in our place to free us from the eternal punishment we deserve. We can be sure because scripture says, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. How do you know that scripture is true? After completing this course, Continue further study with Tel Network for the answer. We hope you'll lead family, friends and people you meet to join our Bible study. 
please join us for lesson number two of the Spiritual Healing Course. You will be blessed and be a blessing to others seeking peace.